The hottest team in the NFL right now is the Denver Broncos. Yo, Broncos country. Let's ride, baby. Suddenly, the Broncos are 6-5. and five. And while, yes, if the playoffs were to start today, they wouldn't be in, they do have the same record as both the Colts and the Texans, who each sit at 7-8 and eight in the playoff picture. But first, thank you to today's sponsor, Football Head Coach. Football Head Coach is an NFL PA licensed game with real players. It's a simulated management game where you're your own team's head coach. As you can see, we're starting off with a pretty rough roster here. We do have Bijan Robinson in the backfield. And then on defense, we got my two Washington boys, Kalik Hudson and Shaka Tony. But clearly, we need to upgrade this team. So we can either buy some guys on the transfer market or we can start ripping some packs we're gonna open up some team of the week packs here and look at this right off the bat we get an 89 overall darius slay team of the week this card is an absolute beauty and on the next pack we're really rounding out our cornerbacks here we get james bradbury we're basically the eagles secondary at this point we grab another team of the week here 84 overall city so we're starting to build that off offensive line and then boom an 84 overall team of the week Royce Freeman here we're really already improving this team a ton now I ripped a ton of packs and look at our team now we got an incredible Patrick Mahomes card he's gonna be throwing it out to Steph Diggs as his one and then on defense we literally are the Philadelphia Eagles that Darius Slay card is beautiful and then we have Kevin Byard and Fletcher Cox. The Eagles defense is literally our defense, and that is going to be one of the biggest strengths of our team. I went and did mess around with some of our schemes a little bit, and that is what I love about this game. You have so many things you can just be creative with. We have a few pass-heavy formations, and then we have two tight end jumbo and a wishbone spread so we can really just feed Derrick Henry. So finally, we've upgraded our team. It's time to go play a game we're going up against my boy walrus man and the tigers are about to eat bro right off the rip patrick mahomes finds deandre hopkins for a huge touchdown to take the lead we got some of that titans magic going and then derrick henry breaks loose for a touchdown we end up getting a huge huge win football head coach is awesome if you want to play make sure you click on the link in the top of the description and start playing right now thank you to football head coach for sponsoring today's video and let's get right back to it look there's a very real possibility that sean payton is able to take a broncos team that was horrendous last season and take them to the postseason now i'll be the first to admit i really didn't think sean payton was gonna be able to turn it around at least this fast this broncos team was so so bad last year remember they were on prime time all the time and they were just hard to watch every single time i thought sean payton was really going into an impossible situation i've always liked him as a coach i thought he was good enough to do it but still just they were so bad so good on him denver is coming off of a very very good win against the browns 29 to 12 which was actually scoragami the second time the broncos have had scoragami this year other than that 70 to 20 loss to the Dolphins. That Browns team is one of, if not the best defense in the entire league. It wasn't the craziest offensive performance of all time, but it was good enough. And the Broncos defense stood tall. Now, the week before that, they did barely escape against the Josh Dobbs Vikings in prime time. But still, man, a win is a win. It wasn't pretty, but they did get the job done. There have been some impressive wins over the five game stretch and the two big ones really did come in back to back games with a bye in between Denver battled with the Bills and got a narrow 24 to 22 win on Monday night football now I know
know Buffalo isn't as good as we all expected this year, of course, but that is still a pretty good football team, even if they are 500. I think just the Broncos were quietly playing some good football before that Bills win. And then people suddenly started to see it a little bit more, and usually playing in prime time does help that. A lot of eyes have been on the Broncos, and it has gone pretty well. The game before that Bills win, they actually beat the Chiefs pretty good at 24 to 9. They just contained Patrick Mahomes really, really well. The Broncos winning streak started way back on October 22nd against the Packers. The Broncos have not lost a football game since October 12th. It is almost December. It is so impressive because it really did feel like we were just going to get a repeat of last season for the Broncos. I mean, the Broncos were trash last year. They were 5-12 and and they fired Nathaniel Hackett after a 4-11 and start in what was just his first season with the team. He was a mess and then Denver traded for Sean Payton and it just looked again like they were going to be pretty bad. They started this year 1-5 and and they had only beaten the Bears who were also really bad, especially early in the season. There was a lot of talk that those might be the two worst teams in football. And it's not exactly like the Broncos were losing to good teams to get to 1-5 and five either. Three of those losses were to the Raiders, Commanders, and Jets, all teams who have really struggled this season. Now, the other two losses were to the Chiefs and a historic loss to the Dolphins. The Broncos gave up an NFL record 726 yards and gave up 70 points and lost by 50. That felt like rock bottom. We even made a video after the game about the Dolphins, really. If you want to check that out, go watch it after this video. But it was just embarrassing, man. That was the talk for really for weeks after that game, and it felt like there was no way back for the Broncos. 70 points is no joke. Well, in the last five weeks, the Broncos have given up just 80 points. What an all-time turnaround for this Vance Joseph defense. The Denver defense has been good this season, and it helps when you have one of the best corners in the league in Pat Sertan. But remember, the Broncos defense was also really good last year, too. It just clearly wasn't the problem. They were stopping their opponents, but the offense couldn't put up points. They had no identity, and Russell Wilson just truly looked like a shell of his old self last season. But don't you worry. Don't you worry. He is back. You have to think, right, that the number one reason why the Broncos traded for Sean Payton was to fix Russell Wilson. They had already given up two first round picks and two second round picks for Russell Wilson. That right there is a lot of draft capital. And it really looked like it was going to be a flop. It looked like it could have been one of the worst trades in NFL history. And the five year, $245 million dollar extension they gave him after that doesn't exactly help the case. Now, luckily, the Deshaun Watson trade to the Browns has really overtaken that now, but the Broncos saw that they had made a mistake with Russell Wilson, and instead of being like, all right, they doubled down on it, giving up a first and a second to get Sean Payton, whose rights were still owned by the Saints where he had retired. I will say I do really like Sean Payton as a coach. I know there's been a lot of talk recently of, oh, Maybe he got carried by Drew Brees or whatnot. I think he was a great coach in New Orleans. I would have gladly taken him in Washington as a Commanders fan. I think Sean Payton's a good coach, and I think he could still coach in this league for a long time. I was surprised when he stepped away from the Saints, and when he did, I expected him to come back reasonably soon. I don't know if about one year after was what I was thinking, but he's back. I'm not surprised. I think he's a great coach. I think he's still a top 10 coach in this league, and I think he's proven that once again here in Denver. Now, whatever Sean Payton has done has clearly worked. Russell Wilson this season has thrown 20 touchdowns to just four interceptions through 11 games. That's pretty good. And for reference, last year, playing in 15 games, Russell Wilson threw only 16 touchdowns and had 11 interceptions. We are watching vintage Russell Wilson back, and he very well may take the Broncos 
Broncos to the playoffs. Now, looking at the rest of the year, I think the Broncos have a lot of winnable games left. They get the Texans on Sunday in what is going to be a gigantic game for playoff implications. Houston, right there in the mix for the postseason too. Man, has CJ Stroud been good. They are a fun team to watch, but the Broncos can win that game. Then the Broncos get their first of two games against the Chargers. Now, yes, Justin Herbert is that dude. He's fantastic. And I even think they have a good roster. But as long as Brandon Staley is there, that is a very beatable team. And I think a lot of people have been very disappointed in the Chargers this season. Think Staley's going to get fired. We're making a video about that soon. That'll be out in the coming days. But they could win both of those games, if not at least split. Now, I do think the toughest team on their schedule for the rest of the season is the Lions. They've been kind of shaky the last few weeks, though. I think they're still a really good team. I think they're still one of the best teams in the NFC, but they haven't looked great in the last few weeks, even though they're still getting some wins, even though they did lose to the Packers. Then the Broncos do get to play the Patriots, who are just terrible at this point, and they get the Raiders to close the season. Now, with week 18, you really never know how much that game is actually going to matter, so we're going to have to wait and see, but very winnable game if it comes down to that week. Now, I don't know that they make the postseason. I think it's going to be very close. If I had to say right now, I'd probably say no. I think they're going to end up as that eight or nine. There's some other teams making pushes that I think are maybe better. But look, even if they don't make the postseason, this is a huge, huge improvement from last season. It gives them some time this offseason to figure things out. You know, you don't have to tear it down because if Russell Wilson was bad again this year, you probably had to restart everything. He was good. Sean Payton showing that he can be the guy. They can just figure things out in the offseason, bring in some new weapons, figure out how they want this roster constructed and go from there. And I think this is a playoff team next year. Just it is a truly remarkable turnaround for the Broncos. And from here on out, it should really only get better. Denver made a risk trading for Sean Payton, but it's okay. It is paying off. Thank you guys so much for sticking to the end of the video. Let me know if you think the Broncos can actually make the playoffs or not. I'm definitely rooting for them to make the playoffs. I think it'd be pretty cool to turn them around like that. I also really like Russell Wilson. He's a Richmond kid, just like me and Darren. So always had a little bit of a reason to pull for him. So let me know down in the comments. And if you don't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Follow us on social media at JDProdNFL. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at D-I-I-D-L-A-K-E. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for a new video.